Yo, what's up, boys? It is your boy Daiko. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing guys the best settings to use in Fortnite Battle Royale. So, yeah, I'm gonna be showing guys a few apps that can help you boost your FPS. They are really simple and easy apps to use. And I'm also gonna be heading into the Fortnite settings to show you guys the best settings that you can use. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, like the video and turn on post notifications so you never miss out on an upload. And yeah, enjoy the video. Peace. Alright, guys, so the two apps you basically need are razor cortex and clean master but in my opinion you shouldn't use razor cortex it's just way too over complicated besides clean master clean master is way more easier so if you have this installed look up tutorials but i suggest you don't use it i suggest you just use clean master so what you want to do is double click it and do the installation prompt you want to click yes and this screen will appear right and you want to just do this and click install i mean yeah of course you have to click this click install and what clean master is it's basically a free pc tweaker that you can use make sure you're not subscribed because you're on the clean version all right so as you can, can as you guys can see we have two things well a lot of things we have junk clean pc boost privacy clean tools and file recovery the two things we're going to be focusing on is junk clean and pc boosts so here we go so for junk clean it basically scans for junk that you can delete and trust me guys it's completely safe so what you want to do is press junk clean as you guys can see, I already have a few gigabytes worth of junk. And we have 5.6 gigabytes of junk. Here you have system cache. System cache is useless. Recycling bin, this is all useless stuff. Temporary files, useless. Log, useless. System cache, useless. And then the Windows files, it's just old things that Windows store. So you want to press clean. You don't need any of this in your life. You don't need any of this on your computer. It will do nothing to you. We'll just add extra space. As you can see, it's clean. They clean 2.6 gigabytes worth of junk on my computer. So that will instantly increase our storage and our FPS in game. So that's really good. As you guys can as you guys can see, we clean 1.4 gigabytes of Windows stuff, 6.92 stuff on the browser, 5.51 megabytes on the software, and 35 gigabytes in games. So that's really, really good. Make sure to do this regularly because if you guys want the best, like, you know, storage wise or the best performance on PC, make sure to clean your PC all the time. And next is PC boost. So it's the same thing as junk clean, but this one actually boosts and this one just cleans. So you want to press scan and it's basically going to scan for anything that can help your PC in game. So look at that. We have 157 items that can be boosted and yeah, run boost to improve boot speed and system speed. So that will really help us in game. So let's just press boost. And trust me guys, once you do this, make sure to do it regularly as you guys can see over here, 56 items boosted. 30 system items, 16 application items, and 10 internet items. So that's really, really good. So you want to press complete. And look, our status is fast. And that's what we did to our literal PC and all that. So yeah, that's the first thing. That's the first step of the video. Basically using Clean Master to help clean our PC. So if you guys want to download this, I will link it into the description. So yeah, that's the first part. And let's go on to the second part. All right, guys. All right, guys. So I just got done with the PC tweak with the free app called Clean Master, and now we're gonna be going into the Fortnite settings to show you guys the best settings that you should use. So as you guys can see, there's a new Fortnite update, and as you can see on the bottom left corner, it's messing on my lobby FPS pretty bad because of this new animation that they have around here. You know, this is really useless stuff that Fortnite added to like make your FPS even worse in the lobby. So what you guys can do is use the stretch res, either 1720 by 1080 or 1680 by 1050. I mean 1680 by 1080 from my other video, but I like to use 1720 by 1080 because I like that stretched look. But if you guys like that 1680 by 1080, make sure to use that. It is way better better than this at than this stretch resolution i just use it because it's one of my favorites but please make sure to use 1680 by 1080 next thing you want to do is go into your graphic settings and what i do is i play 150 brightness with shadow nope 10 this does not matter with your fps whatsoever but if you guys want to copy my settings just use my settings right here that's what i use all right for the quality um make sure to go in performance mode performance mode is one of the best things 
that Fortnite has added to the game. Make sure to turn on 3D resolution all the way up. If you have a low-end PC, make sure to use 85%. But since I have a good PC, I'll use 100. Make sure to use the lowest settings on textures and view distance and meshes on low. I will make a video comparing meshes low and high, but in today's video, I'm just going to be doing on low. VSync, make sure to turn it off. Show FPS on and make sure your rendering mode is on alpha. If you do not have this on alpha, I do not know what you're doing. This is probably the best thing that Fortnite has added. You don't want it on DX11 or DX12. DX12 will ruin your FPS drastically. So yeah, that's pretty much the Fortnite settings. Another thing that you guys should do is to unplug all of your old other devices. So if you're a hybrid player and you only want to play on Cupid and Mouse, make sure to unplug your uh, controller. And if you're a controller player, I'm not saying to unplug your keyboard, but make sure if you're just going to game and not stream, make sure to unplug your keyboard. Because if you have any devices plugged into your keyboard, it will actually ruin your FPS if you didn't know that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And the last thing I can possibly tell you guys is to right click on your desktop. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, click on the NVIDIA control panel. Make sure to open it up. And make sure to go to manage 3D settings. And over here, guys, you want to go down, right? Until you find triple buffering and virtual sync. Make sure to turn those off. It will ruin your FPS and it will give you screen tearing. So make sure to turn off triple buffering and vertical sync. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this short video. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on post notifications. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button and subscribe like I just said. And anyways, guys, if you want more PC tweaks just like this, if we can get 500 likes on this video, I would really, really, really appreciate it. But if we don't, that's completely fine. I just appreciate every single one of you that actually viewed this video. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And yeah, I'm out. Peace.